<laughs> there we go. What's the other resources for again? Uh, in Mass Effect, like the stuff we collect, like the the platinum, the uh, uh, the platinum, the zero stuff. They're for uh research and upgrades. Yeah, like what uh Fluffy said. They're for upgrades once you recruit Morden. Yeah, uh, you can find uh you can find upgrades, but you have to research them. Or you can buy them, and you don't have to research the ones you buy. But there are other stuff like ship upgrades, which are necessary uh, for surviving the suicide mission. All right, so that being said, I guess it would probably help if I turned on the game's audio. That might help in some capacity. All right. Got my microphone. My mic stand sounds like a piece of shit. Anyways, so... Pay no attention to the fact that people are missing. Uh, the timelines have somehow destabilized and desynced, but that's not going to stop us from playing around with this. So, apparently everyone and their mother wants to talk to me about their loyalty mission, but before we go and secure their loyalty missions, we're going to go have a chat with our old friend Liara. Actually, you know what? I'm already here, so before we actually do the layer of the Shadow Broker DLC, we're just going to do this one. This one's quick and dirty. We're going to go take care of Zaid's uh, loyalty mission. And I think I, I'm pretty sure I have... I'm pretty sure I have enough... Uh, I have enough... Uh, Persuasion, get away with this. Alright, so... Who do I want to bring with us? It doesn't really matter who I bring, I guess, in the grand scheme of things. Um, who have we not seen a lot of? Let's bring Jack. We're going to fight a lot of organics, so she'll be good here. How does the audio sound so far? I know nothing's really happened, but let me know once, you know, stuff actually happens. <laughs> let me know once stuff actually happens, you know. Overload. There we go. We'll actually save your points for when you get your Inferno Grenade. Who's missing in our roster? Um, the Justicar. I forgot about her. We were gonna actually going to recruit her last time before the timelines desynced. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll probably get her at some point during this, uh, during this run, too. Give him the incisor. Vindicator is fine. All right. We'll probably go recruit her after the lair of the Shadow Broker. Everyone's being all super quiet. There's no way I can judge audio through this. Stay tight and look out for ambushes. All right, good talk. Changing weapon. All right, sounds fine. Cool. All right. Alrighty, cool. It may get a little bit louder once the gunfire starts going, but, eh, you know, that's how it typically goes. Hey, look, dead bodies! Shot in the back and left to rot. That's definitely Vito's style. Let's push ahead. <laughs> Danny DeVito, why is he here? I wish I could melee those things. 
I wish Halo me I wish heavy melee was invented. Report to base. Armed intruders incoming at the southern checkpoint. There we go. I forgot I even had an assault rifle. Oh shit, Jack is dead. Well, that happened. Uh oh. Oh shit! Oh, all right, I'm not. Oh god, I got so used to it being easier. Well, why the fuck do I have this submachine gun? This is not my fucking uh. Nah, that's gonna. S oh, uh, okay, he blew up. Okay, uh, that happened. This is not my fucking submachine gun. Alright, looks like I'm doing this with my assault rifle and my pistol. Great. Alright, where the hell do I go? Oh, here we go. Alright, time to get some backstory on why we're here. Sons only got meaner after he staked his little coup twenty years ago. So yeah, we have a past. Why didn't anyone tell me you found the Blue Sons? Because it's not common knowledge. Vito wiped me out of the records. He ran the books. I led the men. Worked real well for a while. Then Vito decided to start hiring Batarians. Cheaper labor, he said. Goddamn terrorists, I said. 20 years is a long time to hold a grudge. A grudge? Vito turned my men against me. He paid six of them to restrain me while he put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. For 20 years, I've seen that bastard every time I closed my eyes, every time I sighted down on a target, every time I heard a gunshot. Don't you call that a goddamn grudge? I think he might be angry. Call it a hunch. You survived a gunshot to the head? Yeah. And you survived your ship getting disintegrated. A stubborn enough person can survive just about anything. Rage is a hell of an anesthetic. We better get moving. Zaid's very simple. He just wants revenge. Actually, let me check something real quick. Sound. Why is there no music? Why is music turned completely off? There we go. God, that was weird. Have we been playing without music this entire time? <laughs> I mean, I guess it's just even more of a better reason that the game is good, that we we enjoyed it so thoroughly without a fucking soundtrack. Zaid Masani, you finally tracked me down. Vito. Don't be stupid, Zaid. I have a whole company of bloodthirsty bastards behind me, ready to kill or be killed on my command. 
Actually, take your shot. Give my men a reason to put you down like the mad dog you are. Again. What was that? Got nearsighted old friend. Burn you, son of a bitch. You just signed your death warrant, Masani. I mean, it works. We don't sacrifice lives for the sake of the mission. There's always a better way. Like what? Wandering out in the jungle for hours looking for another way in. You want to waste time out here? Go ahead. I'm going to kill Vito. You're endangering lives and the mission for your own selfish revenge. You really want to do this, Shepard? I ought to knock you the hell out. But thanks to you, we have a burning refinery to save. Let these people burn. Vito dies, whatever the cost. So, let's check so far. Our loyalty. Let's, uh. Let's check so far. Our list of loyalty missions so far have been a son who figured out his dad wasn't dead, but was maybe better off being dead, a scientist who heavily regrets what he's done but at the time it was the only possible choice he could do. And now we have a sadistic bastard willing to kill anyone and everything that gets in his way in the name of revenge. Wait till the shuttle docks by now. You're willing to watch these people die? Damn right I am. We stop to help these people and Vito gets away. And if he gets away, I'm blaming you. We're here to free these people. We're going back to singing. <laughs> I knew this was a mistake. If we're gonna do this, we'd better get to it. I actually think this this actually deviates the path uh, from this mission. Like, I'm fairly sure that you don't have to do this entire section if you decide to say fuck the uh, fuck the survivors, and it puts you out like closer at the end of the mission. But I'm a goody good, so you know I have to. And as you can tell, Zaid is really not okay with that. Rhapsody. I don't think I've heard of that. Maybe I've seen it, though. The name doesn't sound familiar. Let me just... tweak this a little bit. There we go. Musical adventure? Okay, no. Definitely not heard of it. couple of their games I should actually get to playing at some point. I still have a... What is it? Makai Kingdom. I have Phantom Blade. Oh. 
Hmm, I can now afford damage protection. I'll take it. Oh, Phantom Brave? My bad. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> That's actually more of a testament to the fact that I bought that game, I haven't touched it. <laughs> I just bought it because it was cheap and it was recommended when I was buying something else. And I had heard it was good. I think I may have picked it up when I bought Makai Kingdom. It's more humorous than Disgaea. Yeah, I kind of figured. I mean, Disgaea can get pretty humorous depending on where you are in the story and depending on what insanity is going on. All right. I have a flamethrower. Burn, baby, burn! Disco Inferno! This gun is so impractical, I hate fucking using it. <laughs> the flamethrower is, like, fun in concept, but it sucks on higher difficulties. Ah, interesting. So on PS1, I may have to give it a... Take a look-see at it then, at some point, maybe. I got a lot of games on PS1 I still gotta look at. I still gotta look at Brave Fencer Musashi. I've heard that's a really good game. chance to buy that game they have a my local game store has a copy of brave fencer musashi like uh in their show cabinet they want like i think it's 60 or 70 bucks for it and i'm like you know it's probably worth that but fuck me if i'm gonna spend that on something i could just emulate if it was a ps2 game or something else like that yeah i'd probably spend it Shit, I dropped it on top of Zaid. Trouble incoming. God, I forgot how many people they throw at you here. Uh oh. I gotta get Zaid back up. I need all the firepower I can get. Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, he's down completely. Never mind. He's completely dead. Actually, this is still set to, like, veteran, right? Yeah, cool. Okay. I was just trying to make sure. 
<laughs> but look, I was getting actually good at the game. You guys can still hear me, right? Okay, cool. It's kind of hard to like gauge how loud it is on your side without actually just like opening up the stream and listening to it myself. And we got several little hot ho hobby hot several little rooms here to experiment with and see if there's anything inside of. But so far, uh, aside from the credits in the first two, ain't looking like there's nothing on here. Anything and stuff. Yeah, whatever. Yep, just a big ass fucking door. All right. Well. Well, Zay, let's go get your revenge, I guess. <laughs> yeah, about that. Um, why does every person have these fucking... Just cost me 20 years of my life. Ah, son of a bitch. Get off. Oh man, metaphorical. Look at that. Your revenge just fucked you up. Surprise. Zaid, you alright? The hell do you care? I'm fine. Now come on, get me out of this shithole. I'm not sure I need a man like you on my ship. If you didn't need me, Cerberus wouldn't have paid my fee. I do what I was paid to do. Nothing more, nothing less. Now stop screwing around. There we go, I have up. enough. So, technically, if you don't have enough persuasion to convince him otherwise, you will not actually gain his loyalty. The only way to gain his loyalty without high charisma is to basically be an asshole forsake the people that are trapped there let Zaid do all the bad decisions and kill Vito at the end with persuasion however you can convince him otherwise you put your own goals ahead of the mission that is not the way this works I've survived this long watching my own back no time to worry about anyone else you're part of a team now Zaid there's no way we can do this unless we're all working together. You... You have a point. I'm not done with Vito. But I can put that behind me long enough to get your mission done. Let's get the hell out of here. And there we go, simple and clean. It's the way that you're making me feel tonight. It's hard to let go. All right, Eldfell Ashland Refinery on Zora has been liberated through the comp uh, though the company will have to spend millions to rebuild. Although Vito Santiago escaped, Zaid has accepted Shepard's command and appears focused on the mission. Zaid has gained Inferno grenades. He has unlocked a new outfit. I got the Firestorm. Yay! So yeah, good times all around. And that's how you make the most of a bad, of a bad 
this I was gonna say decision, but that's not at all what I meant. That Legion has asked to speak with you. Yeah, yeah, they've all asked to speak with me when I have a moment. Look, I'll get to them soon enough. In the meantime, I got upgrades I gotta look at. I have no gun upgrades. I have no okay, cool. Uh I have no anything upgrades I can do. Uh cool. <sighs> more idiom and I could do this. Alright. Yeah, yeah, I know Legion has asked to speak with me, and I'll get to him momentarily. In all due times, we'll get to him. For now, though, I need to find out where the hell the mass relay is. There it is. It's over in Aquila. Why does Aquila have a mass relay? Someone message him in, in Discord and ask him why he has a mass relay. Because he's grinding an FGO. <laughs> ah, that makes more sense than it should. Alright, uh, let's see. Uh, yes, here we go. Would you say he's feeling a mass effect? Hmm. I thought I minimized this. <laughs> mass relay, not replay. Oh, there we go. Now, Zaid has red clothing, for some reason. There we go, we'll bring these two along with us just because they were there for the original mission. They know Liara. We all cool. Oh man, yes, take that armor-piercing ammo. There we go. All right, we'll come back for Samara later. Probably after this, honestly. I also have more money, so I should be able to buy more things if there are any things left. I don't actually know if there are any things left to purchase. Very few Koreans ever set foot here. Ilium doesn't allow the flotilla to approach beyond a certain distance. This is the greatest planet in the galaxy for those who can afford it. And they work hard to keep the Quarian fleet away. Yeah, that didn't make a lot of sense. Here we go. Is there anything here I can buy? Tech damage. Bitchin', give me that. This looks interesting. <laughs> that would certainly help me. If this is the best you have, please do. But you're certain the girl There we go. 